What's up everybody, MonkeyDude22 here for another Xbox tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your backgrounds on Xbox One. All right, so basically this is what it looks like if you get a brand new console here. Uh, you can check out, see what's new on Xbox. Uh, of course, the first thing that you'll do when you go through the setup is you'll change your color. And of course, you can see that right here. But what if you don't want this uh, kind of grayish background here? What if you want something with a little bit more pizzazz? Well, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit left on your controller and open up the guide. If you go all the way down here to the settings and click on all settings, you're going to bring up a couple of different menus here. What you want to do is highlight personalization and then press A on my color and background. Once you open that up there, you'll see that option there to change my color, which is all the different colors here that you could change when you first set up your account, or you can change my background or tile transparency. So basically this is all of those different tiles that were on the dashboard. You can change the transparency so you can see your background image a little bit better. But let's go into my background here. If you hit A on that, you'll have a couple of different options here. You'll of course have your achievement art, custom image or screenshot. So let's take a look at achievement art real quick. Now, when you bring up the achievement art here, it's going to bring up all the, the different achievements here that you have obtained while you've been playing on Xbox 360 and Xbox One, Windows 10, anything like that. So what you want to do is you want to pick one of your Xbox One achievements here or any achievement in general, but Xbox One ones work the best. Uh, let's go ahead and do Minecraft here, Xbox One edition. So if you press A on that, it's going to bring up all your different information and of course the achievements. Now you see the pictures on the left hand side here. That's actually what's going to be the that custom background for you. Uh, let's go ahead and do adventuring time here. I kind of like that diamond sword as well as the diamond armor. So if you hit A on that, you're going to have a couple of different options here. Obviously, you can share that achievement. You can set that as the background, set it as your club background, or go to the game hub of Minecraft uh, in this particular case. So let's go ahead and hit A on set as background. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead and give you the confirmation that the background has been set. And then if you just hit the Xbox button on your controller, the Nexus button, and go back to home, you'll notice right here, we have our custom background. So we have that on the home, community, and one guide. The store doesn't actually store that information. Uh, the background here can dynamically change based on different events or different things like that. So uh, let's say, for example, you want to go ahead and set up a custom image instead of achievement art. So let's go back over to settings. And then let's go ahead and do custom image. Now what it's going to do is it's going to load up the media player here. And then you're going to have basically the opportunity to plug in a USB flash drive onto the console. And then you're going to be able to select that here. Once you go ahead and select the uh, image that you want, you'll have the option to go ahead and set that as a background. Let's go ahead and back up here real quick. And let's take a look at screenshots to see what that looks like. If you hit A on screenshot... It's going to bring you over to your managed capture. So anytime uh, you do, for example, Xbox, take a screenshot, Xbox, uh, take a video, something like that. You're going to have all of these different captures here. And of course, these are everything that I have on Xbox Live. So let's go ahead and find an image here. Of course, you can see the Nickelodeon Studios ones that I do. Uh, I'm a big fan of Batman. I kind of like this one here, the kind of the 90s Tim Burton kind of Batman here. So if you hit A on that, it's going to bring up those same options. You can go ahead and share that picture. You can set it as the background, set it as a club background, rename it, delete it, or you can see more from this game, Batman Arkham Knight in this case. But we want to set this as a background. So same thing, just like the achievement art, go ahead and highlight set as background and press A on your controller. Once you do that, you're going to get the confirmation that the background has been set. Same thing, hit the Xbox button on your controller, the Nexus button, and go home. And voila. We now have our custom screenshot as our background, of course, on the home, community, one guide, all of that good stuff right there. So that's all there is to it. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you give that a like and share it with your friends who might be interested in customizing their backgrounds as well. If you'd prefer to read through this guide in a text format, be sure to check out the description box as I'll have a link to the official article on Xbox.com, which has more information with that as well. If you have any problems setting your achievement art or custom background or anything like that, make sure you take a look at that link in the description as well, because it has some additional troubleshooting steps that you can try to get that all working for you. With that said, I'm MonkeyDo22. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if it was helpful, share it with your friends so that way they can get those custom backgrounds as well. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. I do a lot of Xbox support content, Nintendo Switch videos, as well as PlayStation and VR videos as well. So thank you so much for watching.
and I'll see you on Xbox Live.